I wanted to start today talking about a case that's been in the news, which is JP Morgan has sued the founder of an app called Frank. So basically JP Morgan um, purchased this company for several million dollars, you know, a year or so ago. And essentially what they found out is that they purchased a company that supposedly had millions of users, but it was actually only like less than a million people who had ever signed up for this app. And basically what happened is that the founder hired someone to create these fake users to make it look like they were real. Now, first and foremost, I know people are saying, well, it's you know, shame on that founder for making these decisions. That is true, right? Ethically, you should do business right. Like you should do things in such a way that you won't get sued later because like you've followed fundamental business practices, you've been honest, you've developed something that works well. But there's also a certain amount of accountability for Chase, right? And also for any large corporation. You know, one of the things that's happened because of how, you know, we've kind of built up companies is that there, there isn't a focus on innovation. There isn't a focus on R&D. The focus primarily is on let's do whatever it takes to continue to maintain the products that we already have and then hope that we can have eke out some growth right so that you know the stock market or Wall Street is happy with our profile as a company and so what ends up happening then is that whenever you're trying to kind of jump on a rocket ship to try to increase your growth for your company the first thing you do is go let's do M&A right and M&A in and of itself is not bad because there's great startups everywhere in the world every single day who are probably taking risks that major corporations can't take so it's really great that we have these innovators out there but the simple fact is, is that when you're doing M&A there is such a thing as due diligence you know for example Chase could have simply asked could you go forward and send the emails you know, getting interest in how many of these people would actually move over to Chase, right, for instance. Like, there are things that they could have done to mitigate their risk and start thinking more thoroughly about, are these users valuable to me? Because a great example is, is that I've had, you know, various financial institutions that I've had relationships with, and then when they've decided to do a merger or they've been acquired by someone, I simply decided not to do business with them, right? So beyond finding out if these users were real or not, it's also trying to figure out would these users actually be interested in moving to the Chase ecosystem? Because that was really ultimately the question. Because, you know, the Frank app was supposed to move these people through this financial aid process, help them mitigate some of the cost of college, and then presumably Chase wanted to then take these people into their ecosystem and have them have accounts. But if they already have a Bank of America account, if they already have, you know, a city account, if they already have a Capital One account, why would they want to move over to Chase? So first and foremost, do I think accountability and being truly someone who can be trusted in business is important? Absolutely. But I also think that we as people who purchase companies who participate in this, these markets, we have a responsibility to be very smart and very thorough and make sure that we are understanding what we're buying and why we're buying it so that we can deliver the value that we're supposed to deliver to our employees, to our customers, to our shareholders.